back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back, one. Welcome back. Today we have more bear news for the stock market, and a lot of uncertainty are growing and continue to grow. Recently, Pelosi just visited Taiwan, and right now she has frustrated the Chinese government. And in response, we are continuing to see our relationship with the Chinese government continue to deteriorate as the United States show solidarity toward the Taiwanese government here. So Taiwan is a self-independent nation, free from any sovereignty of any other foreign nation. But let's move forward and let's hop on and look into our job opening. Job opening fell sharply in June as labor market show sign of slowing down. Right now, we are seeing the job market being tightened due to rising interest rate. And even though we are still seeing less job opening, there is still a good sign of how strong the U.S. economy is. But however, FUD is still out there and a lot of people are still worried due to uh, many investors, many American people, many economic, many educated individuals have been talking about the possibility of the U.S. entering a recession. The total employment vacancy fell to 10.7 million job opening. And we are now seeing a sharper decline with a 1.8 job opening per available worker. Here's some good sign, and even though right now we are still seeing sign and indicator of the job market uh, tightening the labor force. Let's move forward. Our invest chief Katie Wood. She thinks the U.S. is in a recession, but say her fund growth strategy has already bottomed. This is a problem here. When wherever we hear a prominent investor, economic. Keep reiterating the phrase recession, FUD will grow. People will show lack confidence, commitment into the stock market. And the possibility of a recession happening is very high, very high. Let's look here. The economy is in a recession and the job market is set to slow. And say, I investigated Wood. Wood say that the Fed is focused on lagging indicators like the CPI and job data. As reason to why her view differ from Fed Chairman Perot, Jerome Perot. So there's still many other people contradicting or disagree with Powell. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's look here. New York mayor just stated that the U.S. is in a recession. He is not even bull with the U.S. economy and how the U.S. economy is performing at this time. He's even not bull. It just stated one bearish statement here. The U.S. is in a recession. Whether you agree to me or not, I do not care. But the U.S. is in a recession. Let's look down and let's hear from him. New York Mayor Ad Eric Adams say the United States is in a recession and Wall Street is collapsing. Confident in the market is winding down. Why? Many prominent political figures. Many prominent economic, many prominent investors are keep reiterating the phrase recession, recession, recession. How confident are you whenever you keep hearing that phrase? You won't be that confident. You won't be. Let's look more. This will shock many of us. This will shock many of us. Very shocking news. Geico decided to close all the California offices, lay off hundreds of workers in California as a result of the Fed tightening their monetary policy by hiking interest rate beyond our imagination. And right now, Geico said, hey guys, we need to conserve our cash balance sheet. And this is our goal. So let's look more into this detail. Geico closed off his offices in California. Let's look here. The company has shut off 38 offices in the state. That is how many offices are they willing to close. And that is not good for the California. They will able less likely to get, receive more taxes due to many companies are exiting California. So it will be a big disadvantage for people who are not technologically savvy or ha have no knowledge with computer. Right here, people looking up to sign up for Geico policy will need to access their offer online. California customer cannot purchase policy through phone. Very disadvantage. 
right now. Okay, folks. So, what is our thought right now? The market is in a bear market. We are seeing great, great sign of uncertainty. And whenever the trend continues, people will keep reiterating the face recession. And more worrying will be caused among any American individual. And then, though, I hope everyone enjoyed watching my video. If you do, please click on that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to click on that like button. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day.